think I would be the person that was diagnosed with cancer. It's known as the silent killer. Ovarian cancer is one of the deadliest of all cancers because the signs are so difficult to detect. 20,000 women are diagnosed with the disease each year here in the U.S. and 15,000 die annually from it. But as Erin Nichols shows us, there are recent advancements that could help determine your risk for developing it. My mom was hilarious and beautiful and she had a spirit that filled the room. Christina Hernandez is remembering her mom, Patty. She died at the age of 63 from ovarian cancer. Patty was already in stage four when she was diagnosed. You know, she had some abdominal bloating. She, you know, just kind of felt like she had no appetite. Christina's mom had no idea her strange symptoms were signs of ovarian cancer. Like Patty, Jody Lutz was also blindsided by her diagnosis. Mentioned to my doctor in passing that I'd felt an unusual cramp a few months back while I was running, but didn't think twice about it. Jody was diagnosed with stage one ovarian cancer. She had two surgeries and is now a survivor. I felt so good, I'm active, I'm healthy. I didn't feel bad. I didn't think I would be the person that was diagnosed with cancer. But their stories are not uncommon. Talk about some of the symptoms and warning signs for ovarian cancer. With ovarian cancer, we know that a lot of the signs and symptoms don't always appear until a woman has a little bit more advanced stage. That's why ovarian cancer is known as a silent killer. Genetic counselor Kaylee Chatham says the symptoms can easily be confused with gastrointestinal issues such as bloating or loss of appetite. There is no good screening mechanism, not even a pap smear can detect it. We're not typically screening for ovarian cancer and the average female that walks through the door. Christina explored her risk for developing ovarian cancer through genetic testing. Hi, Christina. Hi, my name's Kaylee. Hi. Like her mom, Christina tested positive for a mutation that gave her an 87% chance of developing breast cancer and a 50% chance of developing ovarian. Instead of taking a chance, Christina opted for elective surgery, choosing to remove her breasts and ovaries before cancer could develop. I was scared, but I was also, I felt um, empowered and I felt like I was taking control of something uh, that left our family feeling very out of control. Christina is now living a very normal, active life. What would you tell other women that were facing the same kind of results from this genetic testing? I would say, take your time and make a really thoughtful decision. Medical experts urge women to know they're normal and monitor any changes in their health. If you're interested in learning more about ovarian cancer or genetic testing, you can find that information on our website, foxsanantonio.com. Just click on news links. And if you need financial assistance, there are options for you on there as well. Erin Nichols, Fox News at 9.